To follow Jesus to is to invite controversy. Jesus is a controversial Jesus. Jesus is about understanding in a culture of offense. He's about reconciliation in a culture of outrage. He's about nuance in a culture of polarization. He's about humanity in a culture of issues. He's about denial in a culture of self-fulfillment. He's about listening in a culture of accusation. Holiness in a culture of licentiousness. Faith in a culture of secularism. Hope in a culture of fear. And love in a culture of hate. Jesus is controversial. So the question we have to ask ourselves is, are we following the God with spit on his face who has waded into the mess of broken humanity? This is what Jesus does. And to take Jesus seriously is to take on the scandal, the offense, the shock, the disdain, the curiosity, and the wonder of the compassion of Jesus Christ. Now, you may be here right now and you may be sort of like, an Easter, an Easter refugee, like literally you came last week or whatever, someone dragged you, they dragged you here and you just oh, you don't, even, don't even know how you ended up here and you're back again. I just want to talk to you for a moment. I'm really glad you're here. I remember being dragged back. Maybe you're sitting here and you're kind of like, you've got the cross pressure of the buff itself and now I've just inserted something new into the buffering. Maybe you're sitting here and you're like, you know what, I'm actually very interested in Jesus. And I can see that to follow Jesus will be controversial. But honestly, you don't know what I've done. And how can I have an assurance that if I like open up this emotional armor that I've put on to guard my heart from my disappointment from the church and Christians, and how do I know that my heart's not going to break again? Well, I just got to be honest with you. I can only tell you about God's heart, but I do have to tell you following Jesus is dangerous. If you're looking for safety and protection, don't follow Jesus. Jesus will mess you up. <laughs> Jesus is controversial. Not only will Jesus defy cultural categories, not only will Jesus welcome sinners and offend Pharisees, Jesus will mess your life up too because you are both a Pharisee and a sinner, but he will meet you with compassion. God's heart meets our uncertainty with love, and that's all I can offer you. I'm not offering you an ideology. I'm not offering you a theology, so therefore I can't make promises like that. It's like getting married. Faith is a relationship. I've been married 20 years this year. Thank you, I know I don't look that old, but I remember being mar been married 20 years and I remember just standing on the altar with Christy. And we were just seriously, I mean, she, she just left the teenage years, just turned 20. And we're looking at each other and we're making these lofty vows, like forsaking all others for sickness and in health. And then this crazy phrase, as long as we both shall live. And I'm like, people in my family live into the 90s. In the 90s. And that's without biotechnology. That's just ge raw genetic base. Like, but because I love you and because I trust you, I'm just going to go in on this thing and we'll just hash it out. And that's what, that's what Christian faith is. It's entering into a relationship with God. It's trust in a person. But I do know this, that his heart is for you. Look, look at what it says in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 18. Just, just, just hear these words. For the Lord longs to be gracious to you. Therefore, he will rise up to show you compassion. So what, what's God's disposition to you in this, this place of doubt and angst and fear? And I wish it's true, but what about? To say, you know what he's like? He's a literally waiting. He is longing to be gracious to you. And if you take the tiniest step, he's just ready. He will rise to show you compassion. He'll get off the throne and run to you. And we know this because this is exactly what we see in Luke 15 with the father of the prodigal son. And it says the prodigal son arose and came to his father. And it says this, but while he was still a long way off, his father saw him 
And the father felt compassion. And he got up and he ran. And he embraced him and he kissed him. Here's an image. It's a beautiful thing when sinners kiss the feet of God, but what an image when God is kissing the feet of the sinner out of his love for them. This is the scandal of Jesus. Jesus is willing to break into any meeting, any environment, no matter how inappropriate it may seem, to come after your heart and to offer you his love and to offer you his life. The Lord longs to be gracious to you. Therefore, he will rise up to show you compassion. And all he says you have to do is turn towards him and head for home. He'll meet you on the road. He'll put a ring on a finger. He'll give you an inheritance. Put a robe around you, sandals on your feet. And throw a party and celebration that you're back. That's the heart of God.